Well, things are about to heat up in our next local TV chef competition being held at the Community College of Philadelphia. Five chefs are squaring off for the top honor. Our own Marissa Brainy takes us inside the kitchen to see who ends up today on the chopping block. Five contestants, all trying to out-chop, out-stir, out-season their fierce competition. After the 10-show selection committee sifted through hundreds of entries, it came down to these five. They're all vying for the chance to be the 10-show's next local TV chef. My name is Josie Junko. My parents are from Sicily. Josie's got the Italian Sunday dinner thing down pat. She's all about doing it all homemade, and her flavors are old family favorites. Hi, I'm Amanda Nehas. I'm from South Jersey. I'm a chef instructor, and I also have my own radio show called Gourmania. My name is Terrell Allen. I'm from North Philadelphia. Uh, my background basically is cooking for friends and family. Terrell's hoping to go to culinary school this summer. He's all about mixing things up in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Roberta from Philadelphia, uh, Northeast. Um, I'm a food blogger. And a stay-at-home mommy to two. Roberta's into easy and original home-style cooking. My name is Laura Hahn. I'm from Philadelphia. Um, I'm pretty much an at-home cook. Laura is also an avid traveler who specializes in ethnic-inspired, healthy, gluten-free recipes. A couple big changes this year. First, off the bat, we are in a brand new state-of-the-art facility here at Community College of Philadelphia. You can take cooking classes in here, even get an associate's degree in the culinary arts. And let me tell you, these cooks have all the fun kitchen gadgets and all the space they need to really get this competition heated up. Contestants, let's get cooking! This week's challenge, prepare a signature dish for our two judges, Community College of Philadelphia culinary instructor, Chef Andy Marin, and last year's local TV chef winner, Brian Clark. The dishes should represent the contestants' cooking style, a go-to recipe with tons of flavor and flair. Josie's going old school, macaroni with her homemade tomato sauce and sautéed eggplant with fresh basil. I'm mostly Lebanese heritage, so today I'm doing an authentic Lebanese dish uh, that we have been eating for years in my family. Amanda's busy working the meat grinder preparing her kibinaye. It's a lamb tartare dish. And Terrell's on the lamb train too. More of an island theme here though. I'm going to be making a uh, lamb, a grilled lamb, with a sriracha mango barbecue sauce that I make accompanied by some coconut rice. Roberta is setting flavors on fire with a fruity summertime favorite. Apricot brandy chicken uh, with some rosemary potatoes and some carrots, so well, hopefully the judges like it. And Laura's rolling up her sure to please spring rolls with an Asian-inspired salmon. A fight to the finish for these five, and before you know it, Contestants, stop cooking and let's plate for the judges. Which signature dish will come out on top? Josie's macaroni is up first. Very clean presentation. Okay. Pasta's cooked very well. Next up, Amanda's Mediterranean spiced lamb tartare. It's what my granny would always make. Every big family dinner, this is what we would have. The chefs love how it looks. Taste-wise, though, the lamb falls a little flat with the judges. Plated as a raw item, we actually need more flavor profiles. Terrell's take on lamb is on tap. So it definitely screams Terrell. Um, it has the actual fusion because I try to take different things from different cultures, bring them together. The lamb has good flavors. Um, I would like to see a little more pinkness with the lamb. Roberta's apricot brandy chicken is next. When I was thinking about apricot, I thought, you know, the sauce would be too sweet. Last but not least, Laura's hoisin glazed salmon and spring rolls. I love the freshness. I mean, yeah. it is it's very good. It's a tough decision for right. these two, but it's time to eliminate one of the five. Kill the nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's salmon and spring roll combo comes out on top. Josie's macaroni is a hit too. Pasta, simple, um, authentic. Roberta's apricot chicken takes third. Very solid. Um, um, the sauce wasn't overbearing. Um, chicken was seared right. And it's down to the bottom two. The, the dishes were good overall. 
But these are the two dishes that we thought were a little bit weak. Terrell, for your lamb, your meat itself was a little bit dry, a little bit tough, a little bit overcooked. Amanda, your dish uh, did have that flair to it. Um, unfortunately, we weren't understanding the, um, the process of your raw lamb. Um, but with that being said, uh, Amanda, you've been 86. It's a letdown for Amanda, who's visibly upset by the judge's call. I wouldn't change one thing that I did today because that's how we've been eating it, and I'm proud of what I put out. She made it to the final five, but Amanda's out. Laura, though, she's flying high over her palate-pleasing debut. It was really inspiring to know that, you know, I'm coming up with these recipes, combining ingredients that I think are unique into something that's very original, and the fact that it stuck out is great. Final four. Yes. And just like that, we're down to the final four. One of these contestants will be our next local TV chef. Some stiff competition, obviously they're taking it seriously. And the competition will continue every Wednesday right here on The 10 Show. Our next local TV chef is in the making. Jillian